Hi. Hello, my fellow Zimbabweans. Today, we're going to talk about the situation in Zimbabwe. Okay, first of all, I'm Ashley. Ashley Kudama Sangu. I'm the author of that book, Living the Life Novation. If you haven't heard about it, now you have. I'm not even here to talk about that book. It's doing okay on its website. You know, the situation in Zim is not a situation of uh, we don't have what we need to get to our destination. You know, if uh, we were to talk about it in a religious way, I guess all of us could agree could uh, we were blessed to have the seventh wonder, one of the seventh uh, wonders of the world. Victoria Falls in our country, we have uh, the best diamonds in the world. We have uh, gold, we have emerald, we have uh, uh, our agriculture's potential is uh, is really amazing, but you know, Zimbabwe has became a state of Mapuzano uh, Rakusnahare. You know, I'm here in London, and uh, <laughs> trust me, I know my Shona very well. You know, we we have everything. I mean, everything that we need to get to our destination. But the problem with my Zimbabweans is just the fact that. There is something in our psyche that is just wrong. You, you understand? And by that I mean we we have seen we have survived on this mentality of even though we are Christians, we are some of us are Muslim and, and some of us are Jehovah Witnesses, we have lived subconsciously on this psyche of Mapuzong uh <laughs> You know, and this is what has caused so much, so so, so much uh, hardship between us. Because someone in Zano PF says, which MDC doesn't matter because the Susu here in Zano PF we are good to the boss who will fire, and MDC says vice versa. You understand? And the Debele say vice versa, and the Shona say vice versa, and the guy next door says the same thing, and even among family members we say the same thing. You understand? As long as in Indri Bo and Nabasa with what is happening next door. But now it has come to the point where said Zarachuru Kupi now. Huh? And now people are starting to realize that you know we have fallen so so far down the Torum Po our faces are knee deep in the dirt. You know. As Zimbabweans really need to focus on making sure that our psychological state is not something that can be played with like the last elections a lot of youths went and voted from Gabe saying that it's going to provide more jobs but they never really questioned them with how was he going to do this where was he going to get the funding and what really stopped them from providing these jobs before but you see this is one thing that Mugabe knows I'm not even going to say Zanu PF because there are people in Zanu PF, two people in Zanu PF that know that Mugabe has done a lot of wrong. And I'm not saying that they are clean too because there are certain things that they could have said and done to turn our situation around. But they've turned a blind eye or they're too scared. Mugabe knows how to keep people desperate. You know, this is a man that uh, used to glorify the, the the situation in uh, in North Korea. He, he, people don't really understand what Mugabe. This, he loves the system in Korea. You know, a system where people are always bending down to the leader. Uh, they are living in fair mind. Mugabe is a psychological expert. He knows that as long as he keeps you desperate, Mangwana Agakuzoti, uh, you're gonna say yes. Mangwanaka Kudzoti is going to give you jobs, you're going to say yes. But all those things are lies that are only there to maintain his power. Mugabe knows Kuti is evil. My fellow Zimbabweans, let me tell you something. Mugabe is an evil person. You understand? The whites that he bear up and the land that he took that time, this man had been in power for more than 10 years. It's not Kuti didn't know to, uh, the land had to be fixed. But he only did that to maintain his power because he knew people were angry. So he let them take that anger out on, on white people. He could have he could have taxed those white farmers more so that the money goes uh, into the Zimbabwean economy and is used to okay help more black people, train more black farmers. But he never did that. He knew good people wanted them. People had enough of him. So he pushed the anger to the white farmers. Understood. 
Then after that, what does he do? He starts pushing the anger towards the worst. The worst, this, the worst, that. But now look, Chinamasai was here in London a couple of weeks ago asking for money. This is why I said to Mugabe, do not let this man get into your head. Because once he gets into your head, he's going to make sure that you are not going to be paid. You're not going to be eating. You only eat or you only get paid when you see Pamberine Zan. After that, like a toilet paper, he's going to use you, rinse you out and flush you away. He is an evil person. And I'm also going to talk about our army and our police. Disgrace. Our army and our police and our sea turns as well. You are you are a bunch of mercenaries. There is no, there is no honor in what you do. There is no, uh, how can I say? There, 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 there is no honor in it. I can't even find words for it. It is shameful. You swore oaths to protect that country from threats. And we all know the threat that Mugabe is. That when this man flies out of the country, he's taking millions out of the government. How many of, of you soldiers and C-10s and you police people are even seeing that money? Huh? Well, you were seeing the money, but now that you see what uh, some of you are not getting paid, now Maudo Jamuka, because before it was Namo Engwa Irambir Wisads, there is no honor in, in what you have done. You knew you knew what this man was rigging elections. This man was sending you to even go beat up your own friends and your own relatives. But as long as you were getting paid, you were okay with that. You knew what Mugabe had to come out of power. How many of you, how many soldiers, how many police, how many C-10s demonstrated good to know enough is enough? Because look, a country is made out of what? The lawmaker, which would be the president and the uh, and and his government officials, the law enforcers, the army, the citizens, the police, and then the taxpayers, which is the normal citizen, right? And this is the person that funds this whole this whole triangle. And the, the the Zimbabwean public right now, it has had enough. It has always had enough. But Mapurisa, who are being paid by tax money, by, uh, by, by, the, by, by its citizens, they are being sent to go beat up the citizens. The soldiers, the sea turns, what, what have they done? Huh? Where is, uh, what's his name? Where is Itai Zamara right now? No one even knows. This is the problem that we have in, in, in Zimbabwe. People are not willing to say what they have to say. People are not willing to do what they have to do. What has the army done to, to remove Mugabe? You are scared. How can you say you are a soldier if you are afraid to die? Have you ever seen a doctor who says that he is afraid of blood? Which means that you only went into the army, you only became a sea tank, you only became a police officer because you wanted to pay your bills. You didn't love the country, you didn't love your countrymen. There was no loyalty that you had in the beginning for your countrymen. It's so soon now my generation, you know, we are here in the UK, some of us are in Australia, some of us are here and, uh, and are there. You know, it's good to travel, it's good to be abroad, but who said that we never wanted to have this lifestyle that we, we have here abroad in our country? You understand? But now we're old enough, now, now we've educated ourselves enough to see the rights and the wrongs. And we're starting to speak out. A couple of weeks ago, I started the hashtag Mugabe must go. You know, a lot of people are mincing their words about Mugabe. You understand? But Mugabe doesn't even mince his words. This is a guy that was saying, we don't respect an ex on a ballot paper when we took this country by, by a gun. You know, they, they, there's a video of that. And I want you to even look at some of the Zano PF around him. They even look shocked, like, how is this man going to say this? A lot of Zimbabweans have watched that video. They watched that video, but I don't think they realized what they were saying. This this is a man clearly saying, what Indian, your little ex and your little uh, ballot papers, I do not respect it. Mugabe must go one, one way or the other. You hear these people saying with the Zanu and Europa, Zanu and Europa, Roparan. These people are blood sucking vampires, you know. They, 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 they've even sucked the, the life out of their own people. Uh, what's her name? Bona, uh, Bonamgab. Where did she give birth? She didn't give birth in a country. She didn't give birth in Zimbabwe. You know, how disgusting is that? You're the president, your own daughter cannot even give birth. You have these ministers of agriculture, ministers of education, ministers of health. Where are their kids? In South Africa, in Australia, some even here in the UK. 
How can you be a minister of education and 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 when I go arudziza abroad? Huh? What is that? It's like in in Rutenge I am bizarre. I'm selling. I'm selling my own clothes and I'm telling people uh, uh, I own this company, I own these clothes, but I'm going around uh, we're, wearing Nike, you know, or wearing Adidas or wearing something else. You know, the situation in Zim is that people need to be crystal clear with what they want. Crystal clear with what they want and go for it. Okay. And this movement, uh, the, the hashtag, this flag that was started by Pastor uh even uh a solo mumba is giving a lot of energy as well uh, and of course i had my hashtag 100% mugabe must go i didn't mention my words he must go he has to go he know he has to go and not, and not just go anywhere he has to be imprisoned him and his cronies need to be jailed and they need to face the maximum penalty okay we know what he did in the bellas and kukra wound we know what he has done uh with our tax money we know how many people he has killed politically we know how many people he has killed in mdc you understand he has killed so many people that man. it is ridiculous and it has to stop and this energy this movement that we have it cannot stop I'm seeing a lot of graduates speaking their mind, a lot of people speaking their mind. The only thing that we we really need to start having as well is these I army, mean, these police people who are really speaking their mind as well and really doing something about it. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I have to answer my phone.